भैया प्लीज टेल हाउ कैन आई फाइंड इंटर्नशिप अपॉर्चुनिटीज हाउ टू राइट मेल्स टू द प्रोफेसर भैया प्लीज टेल वट आर वेरियस अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल फॉर इंटर्नशिप वाइल डूंग बी एस सी और एम एस सी इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स एंड बायोलॉजी so in this video i am going to tell you in detail how you can find various internship opportunities why you should do internship from the first year itself if you are in first second third year of your bsc how you can find internships if you are in your masters that is first or second year of your masters what should you be doing and all those things i am going to discuss in this video because a lot of students from various isers and nizer were asking me this question now first of all why exactly we do internship what is the need of even doing an internship so the reason i give to most people is that first of all If you already know that there is a particular field and you want to pursue career in that particular field, let's say you want to become a material scientist. You are very clear about your purpose that you want to become a material scientist. Then you can do internships in material science or you know various kinds of labs available in various ISRs, NISR, SE, Bangalore, so that later you can do. PhD and easily get recommendation from those guys. And since you will be having additional skills or already having experience of working in material science, you will be easily taken by the guide. Now the second reason, if you don't know which field you want to go for, you're not sure you want to take physics or you want to take chemistry or you want to do mathematics major, right? Then in that case also you can do internship. You can in the first year you can do internship in chemistry. Then in winter you can do internship in biology and then another internship in mathematics. And then based on your experience you can find out that which subject you really want to do and build your career in now a lot of times you will find that people say that don't do internship from the first year just have fun during the first year and from second year you can do the internship but i want to tell all of you that in first year itself you should start doing internship why because in first year you are not expected to do so much in the internship okay they already know that you are a fresher you do not have so much experience so you can also have fun so it it does not mean that when you are doing internship you will not be having fun right but at the same time you will also gain experience and you will add something to your cv that will help you in future and getting better and better internship and you will be starting early right otherwise you will be lagging behind the people who have already gained experience and have better chances of getting better opportunities just because they started earlier than you that is one of the main reason i want all of you to start doing your internships starting from the first year of your bsc itself and it does not mean that you cannot have fun a lot of people say that in first year you should just have fun from second year you can do the internship you can have fun as well as the internship in the first year itself now here is the list of top research institutes where you can do your internships starting from first year itself as you can see in the list here isers you already know there are seven isers in india iser pune kolkata mohali gopal barhampur tiruvananthpuram tirupati right then comes nizer national institute of science education research bhubaneswar where i am right now then ic bangalore then various iits and nits then isi kolkata isi bangalore then cbs center for excellence in basic sciences mumbai then chennai mathematical institute prl ahmedabad yani physical research laboratory in ahmedabad ayuka inter university center for astronomy and astrophysics tifr tata institute for fundamental research iacs indian association for the cultivation of science iast indian institute of space science and technology so these are so many research institutes already there if you want to do in astronomy astrophysics i already told you if you want to do in biology then it's available for most of these subjects right so in isers nizer i see you can do for each of these subjects you will find so many labs so many different kind of guides working on different kind of projects if you want to do in astronomy and astrophysics i already told you about prl ayuka and then if you want to build your career in isro then you should do internship at iast because there is a very good opportunity at iast and isro even recruits directly from iast now let us come to the timeline and process for getting an internship opportunity now there are two types of basically internships summer internships and winter internships summer internships you generally get 2 to 3 months and generally a lot of students apply for these internships during winter very less amount of students apply because semester exams are also going on right however you can also do internship for you know 4 to 6 weeks during the winter itself when you have winter vacation and along with that you can manage academics it's not that you cannot manage a lot of people do winter internship and they even manage it now depending on if you are already having the coursework you can also do offline and online internship right both summer and winter can be online as well as offline internship depending on what exactly you want so online internships are very beneficial if you have just mostly theoretical work your uh, you know field of interest is theoretical but if you want to do some experimental stuff then you need to have a lab right and you need to go for offline internship now what are the ways for applying or getting an internship so mostly there are three ways first is through the programs because a lot of universities and colleges offer internships through their programs and second is through the mail to the professor you can directly mail for example if you want to uh, let's say work in uh, particle physics so you can find out a professor at nizer you just go to nizer website you go to the physics department you see a professor who is working in the particle physics or let's say uh, someone who is collaborating with nasa like one of our professor uh, professor jay goel is collaborating with nasa in earth and planetary sciences you can just go to earth and planetary sciences website of nizer go to his profile see his mail id read his research papers and then mail to him and third one is through the referrals which is very less used in academia referrals generally work a lot in industry but in academia still if you know let's say your 
professor have you had some contact of a professor or your father knows a professor or your father is already a professor and he knows another professor or a teacher then someone can refer you to the professor so that is the third one referral but that is not much used in academia right that is mostly used in uh, industry people uh, generally want to have trustworthy people in their company right so they would rather prefer a person who is referred by their friend than a person to hire from online job portals or internship portals so in academia mostly there are two ways as i said through the programs academic programs for internship and second is through direct mailing to the professor now let me explain you one by one each so in academic programs what generally happens is that uh, a particular institute opens a portal for internships in which the eligibility criteria is mentioned the you know your percentage of class 10th 12th might be asked then uh, your grades in the semester might be asked then some statement of purpose might be asked your experience might be asked and depending on the eligibility and various criteria they are going to filter from the application so basically they just like a job portal there is a portal for internships which different institute uh, open for example nius internship all of you know i also went to nius internship in my first year uh, being at nisr in nius chemistry winter camp second program is jncs ar program jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research this also conducts you know training and various internships for the students and the best part about these programs is that you even get stipend or scholarships during this period of internship so that you can have your travel and lodging expenses so there are many programs i am going to discuss further in this video second one is through the mail so i already told you right you just go to the institute website let's say your field of interest is uh, genetics or biotechnology then you go to iser pune website you see the professors working there you go to the faculty page see all the professors you will find a professor who is working in biotechnology and then you just read their research papers and uh, you see what are their uh, facilities available in the lab and if you are very much interested then you can write a mail to that professor uh, including a lot of things like why you got interested in that lab in that field why uh, you want to do internship with that particular person and a lot of actually also put your cv there so how to write a mail is a different and a big topic which i want to cover in another video okay in next video i'll tell you in detail how you should write a mail properly so that you get an internship offer so this was the process and timeline for getting an internship now Uh, one more thing we have prepared a whole document on this internships i have also written a blog on it and this document as you can see i will put in our discord so this in the discord we are building the community of all the students from all the isers nizer iscs isc bangalore different iits and nits so there a lot of students are bachelors and masters students so there i will put this document in which i have written in detail that if you are in bsc first year what are the different opportunities available to you if you are in bsc second year bsc third year masters first year and masters second year so for each of the year okay i have written in detail made this document that how you can get various internship opportunities let me just read out for bsc first year students as you can see in the document the first one is nius program as i already told you in this program basically you get exposure to the basic sciences physics astronomy chemistry and biology and students work on different topics faculties are really awesome from iit bombay from tifr the faculties there will be teaching you and guiding you this is a really great opportunity then comes jncsr program so through this also you get internship opportunity and also the fellowship about 10000 rupees is given per month to the people who are admitted or who have got internship through jncsr program then Uh, there are internships by various iits for example there is spark conducted by iit roorkee every year similarly iit gandhi nagar and iit ropar conduct various internship programs you can get in their website details about this now for second year bsc student there is jncsr program then there is icts for especially physics students then sr fp then iit kanpur search then internship opportunities at various iits then at isers isers pune kolkata mohali etc and finally mailing a professor at any of these institute right so as you can see here there is a whole list if you are in second year third year fourth year fifth year or your msc first year or msc final year then you can see all of these opportunities in this document i will share this document totally for free in my discord channel okay now i hope this video was useful to you a detailed video about how to write a mail to a professor will be coming soon on this youtube channel you can like this video and subscribe to this channel and if you want any other questions anything else to be addressed about the internship just write it in the comments below i will answer it apart from this if you want to message me personally you can message me in the sayastra app and that is not a robot that is only me i will be responding to all of you with that all the best see you at these institutes thank you